Hey guys, Brian here with Wolf Pro Outdoors. We're back again for another 458 SOCOM versus Boston Butts video. Today we're going to be using ammunition from Steinel Ammunition and we've got our SBR upper. It's going to be a great video. Three out of the four of these rounds are expanding rounds, so should be a lot of theatrics for you guys. Let's check out the rounds we got. First up, we have the 250 grain solid copper hollow point maker's bullet, moving at 1,772 feet per second. Next, we have the 300 grain jacketed hollow point high power load moving at 1,886 feet per second. Next up, 325 grain monolithic brass bullet moving at 1,640 feet per second. Last but certainly not least, 325 grain Hornady FTX flex tip moving at 1,740 feet per second. If you guys remember from our 4570 versus Boston Butts video linked right up here, one of the rounds we used was the 325 grain Hornady Lever Evolution FTX round, which is this bullet right here. I'm really interested to see how that compares coming out of a 458 SOCOM versus a 4570. The ballistics are going to be a little bit different. The uh, feet per second is quite a bit different. I believe in the 4570 it was around 2100. If not, I'll notate it on the screen. And this one is a bit slower than that, but I got a feeling it's still going to do a pretty nasty job. Let's get to it. All right, guys, first up, 250 grain hollow point solid copper maker's bullet. I'm really interested to see how this round does. I've been looking at it for a long time. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Still having problems with this Lancer mag. Again, now it seats after the round's chambered. Quick side note, guys, they're still doing tree work over here around the power lines. They're doing a lot of clearing. So if you hear any grinding in the background, I do apologize. We can't do anything about it. Eyes and ears, boys and girls, eyes and ears. Holy smokes, that did a number on that. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, well, here is that Boston butt. Definitely did a number on it. Blew that whole side to pieces. Shredded it, man. <laughs> that is wicked. Yep. That's about what I was expecting, really. It did an excellent job. I'm really interested to see how the hollow point does. And as I'm talking to you guys on the camera, I see something in the corner of my eye I got to show you. About 15, 20 feet away, we got a chunk of meat hanging in the tree. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> For this hollow point, this end of the, the meat is solid, so we should be good here. Get yeah. A good representation of what's going on. I, uh, I got a feeling it's going to do a lot like the hollow point in the 357 video linked here. Obviously not the same because it's 357 versus 458 SOCOM, yeah. but I got a feeling it's going to pack quite a wallop on this meat. I'm really excited to see what this thing does. It's going to spin, send it spinning. Yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys, next up is the jacketed hollow point moving at 1,886 feet per second. It's 300 grains, and it's Steinle Ammunition's high power load. I've shot some of these, high, or shot the high power loads out of my 4570, and they pack a wallop. So I'm really, really excited to see how this thing does. Holy smokes, that was wicked. Let's go check it out. Well guys, there is not much left of that meat after that shot. <laughs> Yowser. Those hollow points are wicked. You don't want to get hit by that. And that's about the same result we had out of the 4570 if you want to check that video out. The Steinle ammo high power hollow points are nothing to be joked around with. Those suckers pack a punch and this, this proves it and so does the 4570 Boston butt video. Awesome ammo. All the way over here too. And it blew a chunk of the meat over here about 15 feet from the table. Definitely a wicked round. Let's go try that solid brass round. I'm really interested to see how it does now. Okay guys, next up is a 325 grain monolithic brass bullet moving at 1,620 feet per second. It's not gonna be an explosive round because it's not an expanding round, it's a penetrating round. So it's more than likely it's gonna punch on through. I definitely expect this to deliver a wallop. It uh, looks like a pretty good round. This would be something good if you are, I guess in bear country or something, you need good penetrating power. And in our area, it is legal to hunt with a solid brass round because it does not say full metal jacket or FMJ on the box. So these are perfectly legal in South Carolina for anybody wondering. All right, eyes and ears, boys and girls, let's rock and roll. Holy smokes, that did some work. <laughs> All right, guys, so there's that Boston butt. 
Let's uh, try to reset that how it was, Dad. Well, first of all, look over here and see it. There's that thing really wound. punched a hole. That's the exit wound there. Yep. That, I mean, that exit wound's, what, four times the size of the bullet easily? Yeah. Maybe more. That's the size of a small lemon. Yep. And it just blew it apart, flipped it back. It was standing. Well, get my hand in there on the nasty. He should have had two gloves on today. Yeah. Yeah, it was something like that, and it just it blew it, it apart. Really right in here. Unfortunately, these were the... Uh, That's a boneless butt, so there was a cut in it, but still solid chunk of meat. Otherwise, definitely did a number on it. So next up, we've got the Hornady Lever Revolution round, and that is going in the solid side of the meat. That is all rock solid. Mm -hmm. So let's get ready for some explosiveness. All right, guys, last up, certainly not least, Hornady Lever Revolution bullet, 325 grains, moving at 1,740 feet per second. I'm really interested to see how this compares to the 4570 video. Uh, that one did a massive number on the meat, so really, really excited to see what happens here. Let's rock and roll. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's go check that out. All right, guys, as you can see, there's a little bit of meat at the back of the table, and the entire Boston butt is no longer here. It's over here. <laughs> Big owie. Big owie. Big owie. Not much really to say with this other than it blew that thing apart. <laughs> <laughs> and that's about equal to what it did in the 4570. I mean, it just blew it to smithereens. That's the hole from the monolithic brass round. Yep. We hit over here and it just lifted it up, blew it apart and threw it off the table. Definitely a wicked round. Dad just found something rather interesting. We, uh, we thought the pile of meat looked a little bit smaller. And if you look 20 yards to the right of the meat, you might find something hanging in a tree. So definitely, that round definitely packs a punch, just like it did with the 4570. Either way, that bullet is going to blow stuff apart. And there are shards of meat that came back at us. It yeah. didn't just blow up that way. It threw stuff back this way. It, it just exploded when it hit. Threw meat everywhere. It it's crazy what it does. It's an exploding round. Yeah. It literally exploded. And it didn't do like that on a deer. I, uh, I actually used the 4570 version of that bullet for a deer hunt, if you want to check up here. And uh, it, it didn't do that at all. But this is a dense medium versus a light, thin skinned deer. Well, you so, got four inches of meat here. Yeah. With a deer, you got a little bit of meat and some ribs and then a fluid medium and then a little bit of meat again it just went right through that right you know. but it did drop that deer on the spot so definitely give that video a check it's a it's a good round really it just i don't like the way the jacket separates from the core but it does its job and does it well so i guess the design works okay now we've got a half of if you notice these boston butts have been cut in half and we did that because it gets real expensive real quick shooting these things so we actually have half a boston butt left and we might have something else from Steinel and another gun that we haven't shown you guys yet that might be kind of fun to uh, try out. So let's set up and give it a go. That's right, guys. 500 Smith & Wesson from BFR. Big boy. Seven and a half inch barrel. We will have a little bit of fun. We have a 500 grain Hornady uh, flat point XTP round moving at 1,300 feet per second from Steinel Ammunition. Uh, one second, we'll show it to you. There is that big, beautiful bullet. Dirty Harry would be proud of us. Oh yeah, this is gonna pack a wallop. I'm really interested to see how it does. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, for those of you that don't know, this is based on a single action design. Got your loading door here, slide your round in, and I'm gonna go ahead and roll it back to one before the hammer. Close my gate, that locks it in place. We got a hair trigger on this thing when we cock it. And I expect, I don't know what I expect, but, uh, this is going to be fun. Hope you guys enjoy. I was a little bit low. I've never shot this before. So, yeah. <laughs> hey, this is the real world. Mistakes happen. Second round. I need to be a little bit higher. I haven't zeroed this gun yet. So, we're kind of close. We're about 20 feet away. I do apologize. Let's have some fun. Holy smokes! <laughs> <laughs>
That is one heck of a round. Let's get a closer look. All right, guys, that was a fresh Boston butt, no other rounds in it. And that XTP flat point did a number on this bad boy. It exploded. Now this was a solid chunk of meat. Yeah, that one had no cuts in it. Man, that is unbelievable. Yeah, devastation. Yeah, I think that is a, a favorite. How about you? I think so, and um, I can't tell you for sure any other meat, but I can say that there's meat that came back towards us. Yeah, we have meat there, here, there, pieces here and here. There. In other words, meat went everywhere from that round. <laughs> uh, I think Rick on The Walking Dead could use that guy. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, you take down a few guy. zombies with that. As a matter of fact, Dad brought up zombies. Yeah. We do have a lot of meat left in that cooler. We've done two shoots today, so we've got quite a few pieces of Boston butt. We're going to line up. We'll see maybe four Let's five. see how many zombies we can get lined up. Yeah, it'll be represent zombies. <laughs> this, this is dead meat, so that's what zombies are, dead meat. Yeah. We're going to line them up, see how many we can take out with one shot. Let's see what happens. Okay. All right, Dad, show us what you got here. Well, we want to set them in separate piles, but they want to fall over because there's a lot of little stuff. So basically that's one, two, three, four, five, maybe six zombies lined up. So uh, let's see what they do. <laughs> this is going to be fun to watch. All right, guys, six zombies, 500 grain, 500 Smith & Wesson, moving at 1,300 feet per second. We may be taking a bath after this one because we're close. Yeah, we're really <laughs> close. Let's see what happens. You know, anything for science, right? Whew, this is going to be bad. Ooh, is the GoPro running? Yes, the GoPro is running. I had to make sure that you can't, can't miss this footage. smokes <laughs> we have meat in the tree <laughs> we have meat everywhere let's check this out all right guys well here is our massive pile of meat i really am pretty confident that that bullet did not come out back here i'm thinking it's in here somewhere where i don't know how many zombies did we kill i can't tell you for sure we definitely did a number on them though if we had our metal detector i could tell you <laughs> yeah exactly i'm thinking that bullet's somewhere in here it doesn't look like it even penetrated that, does it? It's hard to say. It's a lot of meat. That's a lot of meat, man. We took out, oh, there's a piece of it. Yep, there I heard it, it hit the table. Yep. It could be trapped in one of these chunks of meat. It could have veered off, too. There's no telling. But we have meat over there, about 15 feet from the table. And we've got some meat over here on the ground. There it is. Dad found the bullet. There it is. That got stopped in number five. Yep. So five out of six zombies. Not too bad. That is awesome. That's going on the wall right there. Five out of six zombies. We caught the bullet. How about that? That's awesome. <laughs> what we got here? We got three and a half feet of meat. Yeah, we had three and a half. Hold on. Yeah, we had about three and a half feet of meat there and about 65-ish pounds of meat. And we made it all the way through five chunks of meat, or four or five. I'll check the slow motion and it, put it on the screen. It looks like it caught, it caught in the fifth one. Looks like it caught in the fifth chunk of meat. That's pretty Not awesome. Fifth pile of meat. Yeah, the fifth pile of meat. Yeah, that's spectacular. That is awesome. Okay, guys, we got so excited with this. Uh, we're going back to some 458 stuff. We're going to load up something in there, and Dad's going to reset the meat, and we're going to see what happens. See if we can't penetrate more zombies. Yeah, let's take out more zombies. Okay, guys, we're going to pick up with the 300 grain high power hollow point, 1,886 feet per second. I got a feeling we're going to see some meat fly with this one. I tell you guys, it helps to chamber around. Just saying, if you're ever out shooting, it really helps.
I tell you guys, those hollow points are phenomenal. They do such a good job. There's meat that went. <laughs> we had meat go 40 feet in the air. It's, it went over the trees. Let's go look at the pile. All right, guys, here's the devastation. We have zombie parts everywhere. Uh, there's some over dad in the tree right in there. Um, there, there, there. There's, there's meat everywhere. And I can tell you, we definitely gotta take our boots off when we get home because we have meat all in our boots. It's everywhere on the ground. There's chunks of meat all over the place. Yeah. Now we gotta clean it up. Yeah. And uh, if you guys think we're a little crazy, yeah, a little bit, we're big kids. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> we hope you guys really enjoyed this because I know we did. Uh, also, we have a selection of 500 Smith & Wesson ammo right now. So if you want to, drop a comment below and let us know what you'd like to see us do with it. We want to do some fun stuff with that 500, so let us know what you want to see. That was a lot of fun tonight. It was. <laughs> that last round. All that meat. <laughs> Those hollow points are wicked, man. I mean... It slid the board back. It flipped the saw or so. Hope you guys enjoyed that slow-mo. That was some wicked stuff. Yeah, we hadn't seen it yet, but no. I'm sure it's going to be good. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. But uh, definitely the Steinel uh, hollow points are something to be reckoned with, no doubt. I keep seeing pieces of meat everywhere. Everywhere we look. I'm going to be cleaning up until after dark. Yeah, <laughs> we got to get moving. Really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you hadn't. Really appreciate it. And it lets us know you like what we're doing so we and can produce more content. And share us with your friends as well. Yeah, we want to grow this channel. we got a lot coming, and we want to do more stuff like this. But we can't do it without your support. So and we're going to do hunts and uh, a lot of yeah. other interesting things. we got a lot of fun stuff yeah. planned. Yeah. All kinds of cool stuff. But that's about all there is to it. We're going to wrap it up and get to cleaning up. Hope you guys have a good one. Catch you next time. Okay, guys, we're cleaning up. Mainly, mainly Dad's cleaning up. And I hear, hey, Brian, grab the camera. So what we found here. Hold we did, tight. We did catch that last round. That 458 uh, hollow point, we actually caught. We have no clue how far it went through this meat. It's amazing. It hit that piece and just stopped. It lost energy. No telling how far, there's no way, you know, we might be able to look at the, the GoPro footage or something and tell roughly, but yeah, it, this whole thing fell apart. Yeah, it just blew it apart. But that's it, pretty cool that we caught the 500 and the 458. It, it seems impossible that that would happen, but we caught them both. So you, but you got that many zombies lined up. Right, when you got six <laughs> zombies lined up, odds are you're not going to penetrate them all unless you got a big caliber. There's a little chunk of lead right yep, there. Yep, little pieces. Pretty yeah. awesome, but have all a good right. one, guys. We'll see you. See ya.